Welcome back to another Learning Studio in two minutes. In today's video, we're going to take a look at logical operators. So let's go ahead and dive in and get started. All right, so in the last couple videos, we took a look at how to use for loops to loop through models. And then we also took a look at conditional statements, which are just if then statements. So what we're going to take a look at in this video is how we can use logical operators with our if statements. The first one that we're going to take a look at is the and operator. So to use that, we're just going to write the word and. So in addition to the object being a part, we're also going to check for something else. So the way the and operator works, the first statement and the second statement have to be true in order for something to happen. If this one is true and the second one is false, then it doesn't work. And vice versa, if the first one is false and the second one is true, it still doesn't work. Both of these statements have to be true, so the object has to be a part, and that part's name has to be three. So if that's the case, let's go ahead and change the color to blue. All right, so let's go and run the code and take a look. Okay, so the only object inside the workspace that met the condition of being a part and having the name of three is this one right here, which is the one that turned blue. Okay, so the next operator that we're gonna take a look at is the or operator. So in this case, for statement one and statement two, if either statement is true, then this is gonna run. So for all the objects in the workspace, if it's a part or it has a name of three, then it's gonna turn blue. So before I run the code, try pausing the video and see if you can figure out what's going to happen. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so you can see that everything turned blue. And the reason for that is only one of these statements has to be true for this to happen. So for all the objects right here, they met the first condition. So it doesn't matter whether this one is true or false. It's automatically going to do this line of code right here. Another quick example for the or operator. We're going to check to see if the child's name is six or three. If that's the case, then we're gonna change those objects to blue. Okay, so in this case, we see that part three and part six got turned to blue. Okay, and the last logical operator that we're gonna take a look at is the not operator. So the way this one works, if you put not inside of some value that's gonna be true or false, it's going to reverse the value of it. So if we originally set color equal to true at the top, then by saying not color, the statement's gonna be false and it won't run this line of code right here. So if we want the object to get colored, then we would need color to be equal to false, so that when not reverses it, this would become true. So up here, I'd have to say false, so that when it gets reversed, this part becomes true. All right, and we can see that our part is colored blue, even though we have it set to false at the top here, because we use the not operator to reverse the value. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.